Hey, what's going on guys? It's the Home Cooking Hunter. And today I am showing you all how to make venison jerky in the comfort of your own home with some flavors that'll make you never want to buy jerky in the store again. Flavors we're going to use today, first one, my go-to and my favorite, Jerky Gold Marinade. This is my go-to marinade for all my jerky stuff that I normally do. It also is uh, applicable for many other things as well. The second one is Weston Jerky Seasoning Sweet and Spicy. Uh, I've never used this. Weston was nice enough to send me a bottle and uh, this is my first time so I figured I'd share it with you guys. And hey, there's a first time for everything, right? Now, whenever you uh, are going to process jerky and make your own jerky at home, there's a few pieces of equipment that I like to have that I want to share with you guys that I find makes it a lot easier. First thing you want to have is some good knives. What I'm starting off with is a Bubba Blade Tapered Flex. It's got a long blade, super sharp, and it uh, really goes through the silver skin and Sanu cleans it up really good, get all that fat off there. The second one for the same kind of purpose, and another one that I really love, for those tight meticulous spots is Havilon Barracuda. This sucker is sharp as all get out. It's a great blade. It's a little bit smaller, so you can, uh, it gives you a little bit more, mo more mobility for those tight areas and to uh, get some of those smaller pieces off. Plus, the blades are replaceable, so if it gets dull, throw it away, you got a new one. The next one, guys, if you're gonna slice jerky and you don't have a slicer, you wanna go with the Bubba Blade 9 inch stiffy um, or just a really good sharp kitchen knife. You want to just make sure your knife is sharp but the Bubba Blade 9 inch stiffy is one of my top go-to knives that I use for a lot of my processing needs. Now if you're gonna make jerky you usually want to make a lot of it. You don't make just a little bit of jerky. So with that being said if you're gonna do that you really want to speed the process up. Let's take a look at this bad boy right here. This is a Weston jerky slicer and tenderizer combo. It is uh, great guys, you take a chunk of meat, you throw it in here, you turn the handle and it spits out perfect quarter inch thick slices ready to go into the marinade uh, for the dehydrator. So this guy right here, it's probably gonna set you back about $130, $150, but if you're gonna be doing a lot of this anyways and you need a good meat tenderizer, boom. The Weston jerky slicer and tenderizer, it's the bee's knees. So. Now, let's get to the work at hand. I'm gonna pull this piece over here real quick. This is a, uh, this is a piece of top round off the rear quarter of a buck that I shot. And you can see all this silver skin. If we're making jerky, guys, that's gotta go. We gotta get rid of all this stuff right here um, because you are gonna be drying it out as is anyways and you don't wanna be just tugging on that stuff. This silver skin will make it really tough to chew up. So we're gonna get all that off. Okay, so this piece right here, this piece that I consider the top round, when you desegment the rear quarter, you'll find this piece right here. And you can find that video on Breaking Wild, by the way. So I kind of got all the silver skin here peeled off the top of this, but this top round piece, you can see has got some real, uh, a lot of silver skin embedded in it. So what we're gonna have to do before we slice it up, this is where I'm gonna pull out my Havilon, is I'm going to desegment this whole top round piece. So if you wanna watch this, come on in here. I'll show you how to do it. This is the top of it. Flip it over. Just get inside there and you can pull the muscle groups apart and just kind of give them a, a cut to let them loose. See right here? Okay. So what that's done is I kind of just followed those silver skin lines down and exposed that silver skin and I'm going to bust out my bubble blade so I get those long cuts out and just remove the rest of that silver skin. Okay, so now we got all of our meat 
cleaned up and I'm pretty meticulous about it. I mean, this meat is freaking clean, guys. I mean, just look at this. Take a second and look how clean this meat is. A lot of people may not get it this clean and you're certainly not, you know, pinned down to do it this way, but I'm telling you guys, um, the cleaner it is, the better it's gonna taste. So, what's our next step? Well, we gotta start slicing this mug up. And how we're gonna do that, I wanna show you guys the Weston Jerky Slicer first. So what I'm gonna do, I've got this big, you know, two inch thick chunk of meat right here. Yet, over here, that's not how big our slot is for the slicer. So we've gotta cut, slice this down a little bit thinner to fit it in there. The key is with this slicer is don't overload it. If you put the right amount, right size pieces of meat in there, it's gonna speed up your process a lot more. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna switch over to the Bubba Blade nine inch stiffy. Bam! So, so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come right here, square in the middle of this piece, and I'm just gonna slice it right in half. Look how easy this is. Boom! Now, check that out. That's money. So now, we can come over here, we can take this bad boy, and we can start slicing it up. Oops. Gotta help it out just a little bit. Boom! Look at this, guys. Perfect jerky slices just like that bam so again if you don't want to spend the cash on getting this extremely awesome piece of equipment right here this is what you can do you can take your knife make sure you get you a good sharp knife this is why i love the bubble blade uh, this meat is chilled a little bit had it in the freezer so i'm going with the grain of the meat square it up get you about a quarter inch Knuckle up right here, slice it down. Okay, there we go. So here we go guys, this is what the Bubba Blade did. Slice you a nice quarter inch thick piece of jerky right there. Of oh, venison, it's gonna turn into jerky. So that's your two different options right there. Either way, you can't go wrong. I'm gonna finish slicing all this up. When we come back, we're gonna be popping open our marinade, sectioning them off into bags, and putting them in the fridge. All right, guys, so now we got all of our venison sliced up, ready to make jerky, and now we gotta put them up in our bags. What I've got, I got two separate bags. One for the Weston uh, marinade, and the other one for the Jerky Gold marinade. I always label them, that way you know which is which. So, here we go. Let's get them loaded up. All right, so we've got all of our meat sliced up and we're ready to pour our marinades into the bag. But first, I just wanna tell you a little bit why I like bottled marinades. So, a while back I tried to make my own marinade uh, for you know for marinating jerky and I'm telling you by the time I went to the store took the trip out there bought all the seasonings and the ingredients to do my own marinade it costs more than I would just buy a bottle of this um, jerky gold is going to run you about 750 a bottle um, it does up to four pounds of jerky out of one bottle um, the only kicker is just make sure you shake it up really good um, the next one, Weston. Weston's about $13 a bottle, $12.99 from what I saw. Um, but it does up to eight pounds. So, I know both of them are gonna be pretty daggum good. I know Jerky Gold is gonna be delicious. I've not tried Weston yet, but I'm sure it's gonna be great. So, I'm just gonna pop these tops. I'm gonna pour it over the meat, seal it, and put it in the fridge. And then tomorrow, we're gonna stick these bad boys in our dehydrator.
Hey guys, what's up? I'm back. It's the next day. We've got our jerky that I've had sitting out uh, for probably about 20 minutes or so just to let the chill come off the meat. And we are going to be dehydrating the, our meat today. So we're gonna be loading it up on trays, seasoning it a little bit, and then putting it in the dehydrator. But first, I wanna talk about dehydrators. There's all kinds of them out there. And they're the ones that I like to use are the ones that circulate air 360 degrees around the meat. You can buy these dehydrators that are circular and uh, stackable, but the kicker with that is, is all the heat comes straight from the bottom. So what you have to do to ensure even cooking times is constantly be moving the trays around. So I don't recommend doing that. What I've got here, I've got a Weston eight tray model number 75. It's a, a great little dehydrator. It heats up to about 155 degrees at the top end, but it circulates the air all the way around and you can get one of these guys for probably about $149. And as much as I make jerky, this is well worth the investment for me. Now, if you do not want to drop the cash on a nice dehydrator like this, you can actually do this whole process in your oven. Um, if you buy a bottle of Jerky Gold Marinade, it actually has the instructions on the bottle. Um, basically what you're going to do is you take your strips, pop a toothpick through one end of it and hang it vertically in the racks at 160 degrees until the meat gets dry. Um, that can vary on your oven how long that takes. Generally anywhere from 6 to 12 hours. Um, with a dehydrator like this, we're going to be dehydrating, dehydrating this meat probably in the realm of 8 to 10 hours. So what we're going to do first, we're going to whip out our first tray easy light tray i'm going to put it on this cookie sheet here this tray so i can do any of my seasonings i want to use and not make a giant mess now the seasoning one of the seasonings i'm going to use today is a really good seasoning that i like to use for a lot of different applications and it's called wildcat holler it's really good on my jerky so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pop open my bag we're going to load up a tray and then we're going to apply some seasoning what I'm gonna do guys also, is I'm gonna do some without seasoning and some with, just so to get different flavors. If you're making it all in one note, uh, sometimes you can get sick of it. So I like to change it up a little bit. So we're good to go. We're gonna let this rock in here for probably eight, nine hours. I'm gonna check on it in about seven or eight hours just to see how things are going. And yeah guys, we'll see you when the stuff is done. So now that our jerky is finally done, it's been probably about nine hours that I've had it in this dehydrator. I've checked on it twice. So now I'm pretty sure everything in here is done fully. I'm gonna pull a couple of trays out real quick. We got our Weston marinated jerky right here. Those are our Weston slices. And then we're gonna pull out our jerky gold slices with our Wildcat Holler seasoning. Now these are still pretty warm, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try either way. So we'll go ahead and give Wildcat Holler and Jerky Gold Combo her. Mmm. Mmm. That is good. That is, it's a go-to man. It's always good. That is always good. Mmm. Now let's try the Weston. Which one do I want here? Okay, I'm gonna get on this. I'm gonna get on this piece right here. All right, let's give it a pull. Mmm. Mmm. That's pretty dang good, man. Mmm. Spicy. Mmm. That's sweet. <laughs> man, that's really good. That's really good stuff. Wow. So, there you go guys, there's two great marinades that you guys can try. Man, that's good. Um, so, real quick though, before we leave, I wanna tell you guys one thing you gotta do. My boy over at Jerky Gold Marinade, this is what he recommended that I do every time I make jerky. When it's done, let all the jerky cool, then bag it up. Bag it up for at least two hours, and he says you're gonna have the best flavor out of your jerky by doing just that. Thank you guys so much. Oh, one last tip. Just make sure before you take your jerky out, when I mean, you break it open, if it looks moister or kind of wet in the middle at all, it's not done. Let it keep rotting. 
Guys, I'm the home cooking hunter. I appreciate you. I hope that this helped you out and you make a bunch of daggum jerky. Thanks again, and we'll see you soon. We're gonna buy this before it cools off. Mmm. That's what's up. That's what's up out there.